G'day, this video was originally intended to celebrate reaching 100 subscribers, but as you can see the channel has grown a fair bit more since. So I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all who have, have subscribed and shared and commented and provided feedback for this channel's videos, good and bad, in essentially what is an open forum we know as YouTube. Now would also be a good opportunity to thank those that have been mentors during my time here on YouTube namely VK3YE Peter, Greg of the Ham and Shortwave Radio Channel, the Time Spiders, and not to forget Tom Styles Hammerhead 88. These are indeed excellent people in general and their channels have great content, so if you haven't already checked them out, it might be worth you having a look. I subscribe to many radio related channels on YouTube, many specialising in European DX, which is not easy to receive down here in Australia thanks to our powerhouse neighbour China Radio International and so we'll look into those at a later date as well. As you may have noticed there's been a few subtle changes to the channel namely the new shorter and sweeter title intros which I think are for the better. So where's the channel headed next? Well we still have a few projects on the back burner including a repopulation of the R1000's power circuit board with new capacitors. There's some um, some antenna projects coming up and probably the completion of the sniper base antenna installation and a new scanner has arrived which will receive a discriminator tap modification so we can decode some pager networks and we'll be looking a little closer into that. Following on from recent HF aero monitoring we might look into a little aviation scanning in the VHF band using a home brewed antenna designed by VK2ZOI off often referred to as a flower pot antenna. A new shortwave radio is on the scene which also requires a little TLC and a really good clean so no doubt we'll be looking into further radio modifications and enhancements as well. And we'll be looking at those as well as possibly some older transceivers in my collection as well. I've also been messing around with a Ramsey Electronics preamplifier circuit which has been a lot of fun but I'm not sure where that exactly will end up going as either an indoor amplified antenna or an outdoor preamp would be kind of handy. SDR radio will be getting further attention as we look into the various software available for that HD SDR and SDR console to name but two and there will be more general SDR DXing naturally as well. I'd also like to complete a few topical videos which have also been on hold as they are quite fun and discussion generated might be quite interesting. Which brings us to the last outstanding matter that mystery radio. What was it? Those that guessed a 1970s vintage, you were correct. Those that guessed Japanese origin, you were also correct. What we have is actually a National Panasonic GX300, also known as the RF888, circa 1975. And although this is the bright red version, there were many different variants also available in the matte black. So finally, thanks for all who've participated in the channel, happy DXing.